turned out way bigger than I expected. Um, so let's see what dimensions this is. So this is nine and a half by six and three quarters with about a two inch spine that should have probably been a three and a half inch spine. So um, this is a digital paper collection from Shabby Art Boutique. Um, I believe it's called Teapot Fairies. And this particular image is so beautiful. I had to use it for the cover. I'm sure you can see why. So, um, I used chipboard and I covered it with fabric, um, like how you used to do an old, uh, oh, depends if you're my age or not, um, how you used to do paper book cover. So I did that with a uh, fabric. So that's the base. And then I covered it with this beautiful large, um, ribbon or trim lace trim and then um, I used this beautiful shabby trim on the edge and I cut apart this and I put it here as well as well that's already yeah and then here so this is the back of the journal another gorgeous image this collection was so inspiring that this journal just grew and grew and grew I actually had uh, prepped two signatures for this and one signature ended up making it this big. Um, I had said beginning of this year I wanted to try to start making them more flat. I need to remember to make my spines bigger so that I can fit all the junk in the junk journal that I want to. Um, okay, so over here, and I'm going to tell you all this because this journal is for sale. This is an actual bracelet. I'm having a hard time seeing with all the lights on. So this is an actual bracelet. Um, it's got lots of charms, teapots, wings, tea bags, another teapot, uh, a 3D teapot, a uh, fairy door, uh, a key, <coughs> another teapot. So anyway, this actually can disconnect you do it so that whoever uh, buys this like if you're buying it for someone or even if you're buying it for yourself you can leave it attached that is actually not anybody knocking on the door that is my dog scratching okay this is not going to cooperate for me while on my camera and part of the reason is because I am having hand surgery. I'm not going to get it off because I'm having hand surgery on this hand next week. And then I need hand surgery here on this hand. So I promise you it's got one of those little latchy things and it comes off. So you can either leave it on or take it off, whichever works for you. So let's pull this closure. And this closure is underneath the paper, so it's going to stay. So, ta-da, here it is. All right, let me position it so it's... There you go. Okay. All right. So, we're going to start over here at the beginning. And we have more lace here on this side. And this is... A lace pocket so this lace is clear and it's got this pink trim I added the little uh, fairy cutout a couple flowers there is a teapot charm some lace and trims and this pocket is um, it you know you can see how much you can fit in there so I made this little journal booklet and fairy journal with the door on the front. I just love it. And then these, <coughs> excuse me, this is sewn together. <coughs> and then these little, <coughs> excuse me, um, I don't know what they're called. Faux hinges? Faux hinges. So I don't know where I got those from. They, it, I think it's my porch prints for these. 
this comes with the digital kit. I did not use, I don't believe I used anything outside of the digi digital kit for this. So, um, and there's another faux thing there. Okay, super love this. <coughs> I, I love the green and blue of it. And it helps bring a little bit different colors to a lot of pink. So, this opens up this way. And this comes out. I had to keep that simple so that it would slide back into that pocket. And then we've got this gorgeous other fairy image that opens like this for journaling. You could even put photos there, whatever you like. <coughs> um, and then this opens up. I've got a lot of these... Um, This is just a paper clip and it's got the image, this cute little image attached to it. And that holds, oh, this is gonna be a long video. This holds this little tag. So we've got a bunch of these. I'm not gonna pull them all off because this is gonna be a very long video. This one's a foldable one. So this kit is to die for. You have got to go over and get it. This is a foldable as well. And this is just a, this is a lot of space for journaling. Then at this end, this folds out, this folds out. This has this pull out. Slides back in. That closes. This one closes. And there you go. And that slides back in there. So this is just a 110 pound cardstock. I didn't use any chipboard or anything like that on it so that it would stay um, comfortably able to slide in there and not create too much um, bulk. <coughs> All right. So what I did on this journal too, is I created a lot of these pockets and inserts and different things before I even created the journal. I just had so much fun with this kit that I kind of went to town making things that I thought would be fun and then, you know, inserting them as I went. So this is actually um, not my idea. I, I watched a video, can't remember who it was, but this was not my idea, but it's got this vellum paper back here. I used the hinges to keep the, this paper closed, so this opens like that. You pull out your little secret journaling paper, and that opens like that. We got a cute little fairy in there, and then that slides back in. All these cut aparts um, are from the collection, so the die cuts obviously are not. I'm gonna have a lot of die cuts in here. Um, and then here, like this comes from the collection, I just added the flower. I use the die cut to cut that, but that's part of the paper collection. And this cute little, I hope I, uh, there you go. This cute little image, super cute. And then this opens up, and it's got a little pull-up tag in this little pocket. <clears throat> so I am working <coughs> on getting a much better uh, camera set up. Right now I'm having a lot of glare, and I can't really tell where I'm at. Okay, so then, oh, I did use a different uh, printable collection. Okay. So some of these images, there's gonna be some door images and then some outdoor images I use from a different collection. And I'll be frank with you, I don't remember if you're super interested, message me and I'll let you know. Um, this is from the collection and I just use that as a tuck spot. This says, tread carefully, fairies play here. <coughs> and then this has just got a piece of um, crocheted lace. We've got another uh, fairy this just opens up, tucks back in there, and voila, there we go. 
All right, over here we have another, this is called, it's not invisible. Um, it's got a paper clip in it. Oh, what is this called? Anyway, I had a lot of fun making these. <laughs> I added this little heart uh, key locket charm. And we've got this. This holds it closed. This pulls it open. Opens that way. And we've got a little foldable tag and a, um, a teapot fairies tag. And that closes back up. This is one of the little postcards from the collection. Closes like that. Um, this paper, I actually printed it twice. Normally this is just the flower image, but then I printed it again with this background. Um, I didn't hate it, <coughs> so I used it. Oh, and the other side is like that. <laughs> I like to make them two-sided. Oh, this is these they're not called invisible paper clips but that's what I'm calling them so as you can see I'm not going to talk about all the laces and trims clearly you can see there's laces and trims you guys are pretty smart okay so we have a pocket over here we have another uh, die cut fairy a flower um, this is a separate image that I fussy cut out and then we have this little um, booklet right here and this also is not my idea. I saw it somewhere else. It says, shh, fairy sleep here. And this just opens. Well, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to have to fold that. And then this opens up. And it's just blank white papers um, for another little journaling booklet. So you're going to find that this journal will... I mean, this could potentially last somebody's lifetime, let me tell you. Okay, so there's one of the other doors from that paper collection. Um, I think it's just called Romantic Doors and Romantic... Um, ah, it's Romantic something. So, this opens. Well, it's supposed to. There we go. Another little fairy under here all right here is another uh, I think this is from the collection I'm pretty sure uh, fussy cut that out made it into a pocket added these fairies at the top and then that opens like that for journaling and then added a little fairy wing on there. okay over here I made this belly band pocket and it's got these two fairies. We've got a teapot and a, a bow. This opens up like this. You've got a fairy. There's room for lots of journaling in here. And this is sewn in as well. Um, Okay, so it's just this image here, but on this end, I made a pocket, and that pulls out. Got a little fairy. And then this also has a pocket on this side. This is a foldable. I'm not going to do it. Um, this also has a pullout. And it's foldable as well. And then it slides in here. <clears throat> All right, over here we have the pretty butterflies. I added a flower, just a foldable little tag. I added some little die cut birds on the top. This is that beautiful romantic door. And you open it like this. Let me see if I'm still. Okay, so this has a pull-out pocket here. We've got plenty of room for journaling or even photos on that. We've got a pull-out here. And then this is a one of those um, 
invisible paper clips and I just added a, um, a real pretty key charm to that. Okay, over here we have a big pocket in the back. One of those tags with the little tea bag charm. We've got a, um, a die cut fairy. And then these little hinges keep it closed. This opens up and you've got a little bag, a little glassine bag to put things in. And <clears throat> you can even tuck things behind. And then we've got a pull out tag and our little butterfly to hold that in. And that closes up. If you guys know me at all, you know I'm a little OCD about putting everything back as I go. I see people <clears throat> that'll just throw things to the side and I can't remember where they go. So I have to put them back right then. Okay, and then we've got these two little pull-out tags here in the front. And they have images on the back as well. I have the other signature <coughs> and plan to do another one of these. So if you miss out on this one, because uh, this is going to be for sale. So this one also has a little um, invisible paper clip there with a charm back behind here. Uh-oh. This always happens to me when I glued that down. Okay, I'm going to probably have to rip this. Don't panic. No. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just cut that edge off and tuck that back in, and I'll fix this here. No problem. So that's just a torn uh, pocket. This little insert in the front pocket with another little place for journaling. You know, I always think, because I have a journal too, that like something on like this, what I do is if my grandchild did some kind of funny thing or my child did some kind of funny thing, I'd write the story on this little secret tag and stick it in there. <clears throat> because someday, guys, my mother just passed away <coughs> in December, and my mother kept journals, but they were just spirals spiral notebooks and she you know sometimes she'd write in shorthand sometimes she, you know it was just and there's just stacks and stacks of spirals and I love that but imagine being able to have something as elaborate and beautiful as this to hand down to your child your grandchild <clears throat> of the stories of your life so okay <coughs> um this pull out and this pull out right here. <coughs> Love these vellum pocket thingies. I mean, this may have been my porch prints that I learned this from. <coughs> I think it is. Um, they have a great channel with lots of ideas. So I use that. This as a tuck spot. We've got our little die cut fairy there. This pulls out. We've got another little great little place for a short story of something. And then plenty of room to write here. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to put that in like that. <clears throat> and when you're creating, you know, you just add your own laces and trims wherever they, wherever they look good to you. All right, this is the center, and this is a pop-up. Look at that. I learned that, and I'm not sure. I probably should have made it come out further, so when it popped up, it wasn't so tall. But I added these little bird die cuts to the top. My little fairy girls and my little keyhole. I love it. So that was my first attempt at a pop-up. So I have a long way to go. <clears throat> But I, uh, I ordered actually a template for a pop-up, and I'm really excited to do that. <coughs> so I used 
um, seam binding here to hold it all together. <clears throat> Our next page has this pull out. And then this opens up. Oh, fairy die cut. Now it tucks back in there. There's a lot of words that come with this collection too. So like enchanted. This is another one of those invisible paper clips. So, you know, you could tuck things underneath. You could move them around, use them however. And then I have a little teacup um, charm there. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, here we've got just a little pullout. Like the fairy die cut. That, look at that. Super, ugh, super love that. <clears throat> Then over here, this pulls out. We've got a tag here. How does this go? Oh, okay. Then the other side, uh oh, has a little belly band. This opens up. I did some die cutting, made this cute little, this little tag. And that goes in there. That goes back in this altered envelope pocket. Okay. Then this opens this way. <clears throat> You've got an all uh, hidden paper clip that's holding this tag in, and you can um, I like leave that all the way down. Okay. All right, over here we have a glassine bag that has this pull out. The other side of that hidden paper clip. <coughs> then we have these two pull outs. Beautiful image of the little fairies. This opens like that, we've got another little Pull out tag and a fairy blowing a kiss. So that goes back behind here. We got this one, another little tag, and then this little die cut leftover that I had. And those go in there. That makes this honestly that makes this really bulky, but you can move stuff around. If you, this just ends up being yours, you can move it around. I love that image so much. Okay. So <clears throat> I just printed this larger and die cut on it because you can write um, journal on the back of that. And then this one opens up like that. So in the pocket. <clears throat> and over here we have this pull out. And I think this one's just pretty simple. We've got a die cut image back behind there. I, I don't like too much white paper showing. A little is okay for me, but I, I, I like, you know, having everything pretty much with colored paper. So this opens up like that. Oh, we've got this. We've got another little secret story place. I love it. I just love it. It comes with these cute little cupcakes in the collection. I love food um, images, cakes, and things like that. I think they're so cute. Um, over here we have another one of the hidden paper clips. And hidden paper clips! <laughs> That's what they're called. Um, two pullouts here. We've got the little bird die cuts. In here, you got another little secret story place. And then the toadstools. So this one was actually probably not as much work as my Titanic one, but it was close. It was really close. Ooh, there's a lot of white there. All right, so we got the little cupcake. We've got the die cut, or uh, not the die cut, the charm, little tea, teacup charm for this pocket. And we've got this little um, image that I made into a pocket 
It says Kitchen Fairies. And there's also that on the back. Another beautiful romantic gate. This little simple, I think it's just a foldable, yeah. A tuck spot, pocket here. This comes out. We've got some lace and a fairy there. You open this, it's got a little tag. This is a, it opens up. There's another image. So lots of secret little places. <clears throat> and I think this would be beautiful for a child to give this to a child as well. Maybe not a small child because, you know, the paper can tear. And you have to be somewhat careful with it. Um, so we've got two tuck spots here. One for a small. Oh, this one opens like this. So I'm going to stick that like that. And then this larger one, the Kitchen Fairies. And we've got another little tag inside. And that one goes like that. We've got another um, hidden paperclip. <laughs> hidden paperclip. i got to remember that. Um, and this one... The hidden paper clip holds this in. It's got that cute little image. It's got a key. It says Teapot Fairies on it. Got a little simple pull out here. Little butterfly tuck. Um, hidden paper clip. And then on this side, this pulls out. Got a beautiful little teapot charm. Uh oh. Themselves. There we go. So it says, shh, fairy sleep here. And obviously eat cupcakes. <laughs> so we got a little tuck spot there. This opens up. This opens up. And these two tuck back under there. And then tuck up under here. Now, our last page. <clears throat> It is, I'm going to take all of these out. So this is an accordion pocket. So there's three pockets here. And you can see the images on the front. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to show you the three inserts. Let me get this centered. All right. So this is three little booklets. This pulls out, this opens up, this has got a lot of foldable tag inside, tucks back under there, this folds over, there's um, this single tag and a foldable tag and those tuck in under here. Um, this is sewn in, um, foldable tag. This folds over, a place for journaling or a photo, this pull out tag, and this beautiful pocket, and there you go. That's the first one. <clears throat> so then we have this one, it opens up this way, we've got this little fold out with a little tag there back in, place for journaling here. Um, we've got this file folder image, a pull out postcard. You can see the sewing there. This opens this way. We've got a little pull out foldable um, tag behind. butterfly that folds over and then we have this oh it's a single and this pretty little tag and <coughs> the pocket with the faux hinges and that closes like that okay the last one let me make sure I'm centered so this one opens like this you have a glassine bag here, and this pullout. There we go. Uh, a little belly 
family band. It's just a single tag. Again, this could be used for like some kind of funny secret story. I love that idea. <clears throat> and then um, this pretty image there. Um, that folds over. We've got a tag here. And then we've got this little pocket with the mushrooms. This little <clears throat> journaling tag. So I, th I guess when I put this little die cut, I kind of had a little bit of extra glue, but you can't really, you can't tell really at all. Maybe a little spot right there. <clears throat> then on this side, this pulls out. We've got two little. This is a foldable tag, and this is a single tag, and those tuck back. And then this one, because it's got that dimensional butterfly, I put it in the front. So, there you go. Oh my gosh, I do not know how long this video is, but I know it's long. And this is Teapot Fairies. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, I want, um, including shipping, because, you know, shipping's part of the deal. Um... I want $165 and that does include your shipping. So if you're interested in this journal, um, my contact is in the description box down below. Thanks for watching. Um, you know, comments, guys, if you, comments really help my channel grow. Um, likes help my channel grow. I am getting older and I need this channel to help me <laughs> along my way. So I hope you'll do me that favor. And that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, um, any comments, I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching. Have a happy, scrappy day. Bye.